Good morning guys. Welcome back to Mornings with Granny. It is a cold day here. Got up this morning to, I think it was 25 or 26 degrees. And it's 11 o'clock or, let's see, yeah, about 11.10. And it's 45 degrees. So it is cool today. I um, went to the grocery store yesterday. I also went and got a haircut the other day, as you can tell. A little short, but that's okay. It'll grow out. But I went to Food Lion. My sister and I were talking about prices. And she said, turkeys up there were 39 cents a pound in Tennessee. And a head of lettuce at the discount store was $3, iceberg lettuce. And sweet potatoes at Food Lion were 39 cents a pound. So I went over to our Food Lion here. Our turkeys are 29 cents a pound. Sweet potatoes are 25 cents a pound, and iceberg lettuce, one head, is $1.39 a pound. Big difference. I'm cooking the dog some food while I'm talking. All this is is some meat that I bought marked down that I'm cooking for him to add to his dog food. But I'll tell you when I show you what all I bought. All right, let's just start with the meat. What's cooking is this meatloaf mix. Let me turn you down. It'd be easier. Let's see. Let's get you down here. It'd be a lot easier for me to show you this way. This is a meatloaf mix, and it's uh, veal, beef, and pork. It was marked down to a dollar ninety cents, and it's a little over a pound. And the regular price was five dollars and eight cents, four seventy nine a pound. That was the regular price on it. So I got that for him. I like to give him a treat once in a while. I'll cut this down while I'm talking. And I also got a pack of pork chops that were marked down. These are the boneless pork chops. They were regular $3.87 at $3.99 a pound, so it's almost a pound. And they were marked down to $1.87. I also picked up this tenderloin. It is onion, garlic, bell pepper, boneless pork loin, and it's 20 ounces, and it was $5.99, marked down to $3.59. And I picked up one small piece of beef, a little over half a pound. Now, at the kiosk, it printed out a coupon, $3 off of Nature's Promise pork or beef. Well, I couldn't find the pork, so I got a piece of the beef. It was three fifty-eight minus three dollars made it fifty-eight cents. But the regular price on this was seven ninety-nine a pound. Five dollars and eleven was the price. And I mean, look at it. It's not even as big as my hand. That is a small piece of beef, but for fifty-eight cents, that's okay. Alrighty. I picked up one bell pepper for sixty-nine cents. I picked these up, macadamia and cashew drink snack mixes. They were buy one, get one free. So that made them, let me find them on here. That made them, uh, I think it was $3.49. Yeah, $3.49 each. I picked up two cans of Swanson beef broth. These were buy one, get one free. Made them $0.64 cents each. I picked up the McCormick gravy because I just like it. I like it better I do the Heinz in the jar. And this was a dollar eighty-nine. Now if I had wanted Heinz, I couldn't have got it because all the beef gravy was gone. I picked up the Bear Creek potato soup, so I can make mom some more soup. And this was $3.49 and a coupon printed out at the kiosk for 75 cents. So that made it what three 74 something, I mean not 374, 274, something like that. So a little, little higher, higher than Walmart, but I wasn't going to Walmart. Four bananas. The bananas were 70 cents. And let's see how many pounds. 1.42 pounds at 49 cents a pound. Made them 70 cents. And then they had a 50 cent off coupon, so I made 20 cents for those four nickel piece. 
picked up two apples. These are the Red Delicious, $1.29 a pound, two or $1.25. And then, of course, what I went for, sweet potatoes. Now, they're eight in the bag. They were $0.25 cents a pound, made them $1.10. And, and I like the small ones. Because I sometimes I just microwave one and have that as a side dish. Sometimes I have it for a main meal. All in all, I spent, let's see, oh, what was the amount? $24.29. Now well, let me get you back up here. I got to stir this food that's cooking. So $24.29. It wasn't a great haul, but. Thing. I got uh, two bags of uh, nuts, nut mix, and uh, what, four packs of meat, and almost four and a half pounds of sweet potatoes. I guess it wasn't that bad. Still not up there far enough. It's just not working for me today, folks. Okay, let's try it again. All right, I received some mail, so I'm going to show you some mail I received. This is from Laurie in New Hampshire. Isn't that pretty? And then this is from my friend Kathy, and she lives in California. Thank you, guys. I was looking through YouTube channels last night, and a channel popped up on my feed, and I hadn't heard of it before. And I'm glad it did. It's called Southern Girl Cooks. I've got it written down here, so I'm glancing down. She's got some really good recipes. I mean, really good. She had one on there called uh, Pecan Cobbler. I had never heard of it. I had never heard all my years of Pecan Cobbler. I'm going to make it. And yes, I'll bring you along. But you can go watch hers, too. Um, but go over there and tell her I sent you. And subscribe. I think you'll like her. And just tell them Mornings with Granny sent you over there. And I'll put the link in the description box where all you have to do is click on it. And I know some of you are saying, yeah, sure, you're going to make the cobbler. You haven't made the coconut cake yet. That coconut cake is supposed to be for Mom and my brother. But my sister-in-law got sick. And then their son got sick. And then my sister-in-law had to go back to the hospital. And then she had her... Um, brother-in-law died and then she went last Tuesday for them to uh, shock her heart to see if they could get it in rhythm and they did so so far but anyway that's why I'm waiting on the cake I'm waiting for everything to settle down before I make it and take it over there because I know they want to enjoy it too but anyway you guys have a good weekend I'm gonna get off here and finish up the dog's food and peel around here for a little bit as we say Oh, I went outside this morning, and I was walking the dog, and I don't usually pay any attention over there to my heating unit unless something goes wrong with it, but I glanced over there, and there was a snake curled up in between the uh, vents. I mean, he was about, I don't know, a foot, foot and a half. He was, he was little. He wasn't much bigger around than my finger. I don't like snakes. It scared me. So anyway, needless to say, he's dead, but he's still laying there. I was just surprised to see him up there, and I don't like the idea he's that close to my house. All right, guys, have a good weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.